Hi guys, Hamlet here from Vodia Networks. Today um, we're going to talk about uh, elastic sip trunking with Twilio. And I'm going to show you how to set it up on the Twilio GUI and then set it up on the Vodia PBX phone system. So if you have a Twilio account, what you want to do is either type in uh, the feature you want. Um, Twilio has done some improvements on their GUI and uh, some features um, you would have to just search for. Uh, in this case, um, we're looking at elastic SIP trunking. And what we want to do is create a connection between Twilio and the Vodia PBX. And in order to do that, you have to create an elastic SIP trunk. So what we're going to do is press create new and we're going to give it a friendly name and then press create. Next, um, here are some Twilio features, call recording, secure trunking. Um, if you guys want secure trunking using SRTP, you're going to need a certificate from Twilio in order for that to work. Uh, for now, it's disabled. I'm not going to use that. And then uh, symmetrical RTP, um, that should always be enabled. And then save. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done on this page. So we're going to go save. All right. So next we're just going to press save. Okay. So everything is all set. We have a successful configuration and next we're going to go to termination. Okay, so uh, for outgoing traffic from your communication infrastructure. Um, so basically here, um, we need to configure a SIP URI uh, for this account or for this trunk. And I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to call it Vodia. Uh, then they have some local uh, lo localized URI, URIs. Uh, so North America, Virginia, etc. I'm just going to choose um, North America, Virginia, and I'm going to uh, save that. I'm going to save that on my notepad. Next, you just scroll down and now you have to add. Um, so they authenticate the invite uh, through a user and password so they also want you to add an ip access uh kind of like an access list on the vodia pbx to allow it to go in right now i don't have anything so i'm just going to press add to create a new access and i'm just going to name this vodia pbx and then i already have the ip on this guy here so i'm just going to copy it here um vodia pbx and then create so this uh, basically is allowing um, for us to terminate a call um, to have a, a user and password, um, rather, sorry, an IP address where the traffic uh, will be terminated on. So next, uh, credential list. Uh, I don't have, well, I actually have two. I'm going to create a new one. So this one also, I'm just going to say Vodia user. Uh, name it Vodia and I'm going to then put in a password and then press create. So now I have an IP access list of my PBX for authentication purposes and I also have a user and password. Um, after that you can just uh, save and then um, we go to origination. So they want to know uh, where the call is going to originate from. So here it says configure the IP address or FQDN of the network element entry point into your communication structure, etc. Could be an IP, a PBX. So in this case, I am just going to um, use my FQDN that I have. So, 
and then I'm going to save uh, that configuration. And then um, that was pretty much it for that part. That is saved. The next thing we're going to do is either buy a number or use the existing number. So I'm going to, pr I'm going to press here, add a number and then, uh, add an existing number. And I'm going to choose the 978 number and I'm going to select that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is view it. Just make sure everything is fine. Here it says to edit or view more details. Just click on that. And now we are at the phone number section. I just want to make sure everything looks fine. The um, configured with a SIP trunk and with the uh, Vodia SIP trunk we've uh, created. So everything looks good here. So next, um, let's navigate to the PBX and um, let's create a SIP trunk from scratch. So um, you can go into your tenant and you want to go to trunks and then zip trunks and you want to uh, then press add. Uh, Twilio is already a template on the Vodia phone system. So click on Twilio. Now the outbound proxy is something that I had saved. So it was this one here. So the outbound proxy would be zip colon uh, you can also put the domain uh, you, can use it, you can use it for the domain as well uh, and then obviously you need um, the number make sure you use the plus in front and then next is the user and password double check that okay uh, let me see. Yep. The ID, I'm not worried about that. And I'm just going to press create. So this system is already set up. So what I'm going to do is just go into the trunk. I'm just going to check a few things, make it, make sure everything looks fine. Everything looks fine to me. Um, if you guys want to test inbound, uh, what you can do is send a call to an extension. So when you call in this number, uh, you should get uh, either the voicemail or the phone should be ringing. So let's save that. And then let's go to dial plans. I'm using the default dial plan and I'm going to add my, uh, preference for this trunk Twilio. Uh, and then I'm going to use the same scheme here for the USA numbers and just put a replacement star. Okay. Now I'm just going to test an outbound call on the um, Vodia user portal via the web. Um, we have a bunch of videos on how this works. Um, you're going to need Let's Encrypt, a secure um, connection between the Vodia PBX and the web browser. Uh, this is very well documented. So, all right, so let's test the outbound call. I'm just gonna press uh, this green button here. And there it is. All right, so I just called uh, in, uh, press two for DTMF for support. So I know the outbound call is working. Now we have to figure out if the inbound call works. So I'm just gonna dial that here. Hello, hello, test, test, test. All right, so inbound uh, works as well and it's reached my extension. So guys, there you have it. Um, we successfully set up a trunk with Twilio. We've tested inbound, we've tested outbound. Um, I guess the next question you would have is if I have a bunch of DIDs from Twilio, how um, can I manage those uh, DIDs on the extension? And you can do that very easily. Uh, for example, this one phone number, I can just put it on my extension here. Um, it'll probably reformat it because my area code is 978. 
So uh, now I have this DID on my extension. All right, so next let's go to the trunk and let's tell the trunk that I want the inbound uh, DIDs that I have, um, could be more than one, and I want to tell the body of PBX to send the call to the destination in the request URI. So uh, we're going to look at the request URI. Uh, based, usually it's the topmost uh, SIP transaction. You will see a number, um, at symbol, and then some information of where the call is coming from. Um, and for that, uh, make sure you set the send call to destination and save your configuration. All right, next, uh, what we're going to do is uh, make the inbound call. Now that we've told the Twilio SIP trunk, Vivodia, to send the call to the request URI, we're going to look at the topmost number on the SIP transaction. And when we do that, if I dial that number, let's see, let me dial it in. And here we go. So there's the number, here's the identification. Check, check, check. One, two, three. And there you go. So that is how you would uh, set up your inbound. Uh, you can also do that through the DID management. And you can set a DID here. Uh, the name of the, the person, the comment, and you can choose the trunk you're using for or where you purchased the DID number, um, particular uh, map tenant, and then you can choose an extension uh, or also use it as a outbound DID as well. Uh, yep, so that concludes uh, this session today um, on how to set up uh, Twilio with the Vodia PBX phone system. If you have any questions, uh, please send us uh, an email at support at Vodia.com. Have a great day, guys.